Hey guys, I'm Chaz Prime, and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm doing my first reaction slash review of The Sims 4 Paranormal Stuff Build and Buy Mode Edition. Um, I've already done the Cray Sims, if you want to go check that out, I recommend doing that. I actually, there wasn't a lot of stuff, but I was like impressed with the stuff they had. Like, I thought it was really good. So, go check that out. Uh, but we are going to be going over the build and buy objects in this video. And like I said, I haven't seen any of the objects except for some of the gameplay objects. But I haven't looked through all the swatches in those. Um, and so this is going to be me just seeing it for the first time and giving my honest opinion. So, let's jump right into it. So, before... We even jump into the objects. We have the new haunted house residential, um, and it comes with these are a lot of features. So ghostly assistants, so that's the guy that comes out of the painting. Specters, which are the little ghost things you see floating around. Haunted treasures, it says specters have all sorts of strange valuables on them. So I'm not, I haven't seen any of that yet, but sure is interesting. Uh, paranormal activity things get weird here, especially at night. Your sims will definitely take a notice. Uh, cursed objects. You just basically have to go around and get ready, rid of them. It's alive! Keeps the keeping of the end tides on your house are on your good side. Uh, be brave. Each successful night yields reward stores for points for all the sims and aspiring welcome visitors um become paranormal investigator with the help of guildry and she's coming for you that is just a little one they put on there too so that's all the benefits and quirks that come with a haunted house um i kind of want to just be on a regular residential house Okay, but let's jump right into it. I have uh, turned on the paranormal filter, so it should only show us the paranormal stuff. So let's look at rooms first, kind of see what we're getting into. Um, I guess I'll put the first one over here. Um, it comes in a black version, a yellow version, and a blue version. I like the black version, like, go figure, go me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's take a closer look. I like the curtains. Those are a good curtain. Um, I've seen a lot of people freaking out over this couch. I like this rug in this color. I think it's really pretty. The hanging plant is nice. More candles I see. I don't know if those are the candles we already have. Or if those come with the pack. I guess we'll find out. Okay, so that's this room. And then this one is a parlor. Um, I guess it's like the uh, for the seance table. So we have a green room, a pinkish room, and this one that I like the best, the, the dark red room. Okay, let's place that down here. Ooh, okay. I really like the color in this wallpaper. I hate floral print, but I really like the coloring in this. And I don't like the mismatched chairs. I guess it's supposed to be like the main person sits here and like tells them things. <laughs> it does come with a hand that stops uh the ghost from coming every night but why would you want that he's helping you again the colors in these rugs are gorgeous i love this lamp and this plant i really like this plant it's cute it points away from the wall so it doesn't clip which is very nice very nice touch sims i see that okay so let's um go over here 
and look at the new wallpaper they've given us. Hey, there's one wallpaper, and it's the one I was saying I like the colors in. So here's that color. I want to put it down in every color though. So here we go with that. It has a black version, very nice. I like the teal version. Black and white version is kind of cool. That's ugly. That's ugly. <laughs> um, here we go. So that's all the wallpaper we get. Which is a little sad, but it is a stuff pack. I have to keep reminding myself that. I'm used to ga playing game packs a lot. I'm used to there being more stuff. But it's just a stuff pack. So, one wallpaper is fine. That, that's more than we get with some stuff packs. And for flooring, let's see. One flooring. So, let's go through the colors on that. Uh, I'll turn the grid off so you can see better too. Okay. So light blue, black, uh, wood tone, a tealy green, a light wood tone, which I actually really like it in the light, light wood tone, a deep green, a grayish purple lavender type vibe, a fuchsia type vibe and uh bright yellow also let's turn on the brightness in the daytime so you can see everything a little bit better it looks like we have some new no no we don't okay let's say we did let's just go through everything right quick and uh make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay. I think that's it. I think it just came with wallpaper and uh, flooring, guys. So, let's go on into uh, the, the actual furniture. Okay. I guess we can just do it this way. This is fine. Okay. So, it looks like we're starting out with seating. So, as normal, I'm going to place everything down. And then we'll go through all the swatches on it. I really need to turn move objects on, don't I? I think I do. C dot move objects on. There we go. So we have to move these closer together now. There we go. That's better. All right. So let's go through the color on this one. Oops, I didn't press the color. All right, so we got a dark blue. Ooh, the red. I like that. I like that a lot. I don't know if it's like a red or a fuchsia, but it's nice. The white chair is nice. Not a big yellow person, but for a yellow, that's not a bad yellow. Pink, red. Teal is very nice. Blue is very nice. Ooh. This royal purple, though, is like... Ooh. Yes. And black and white. Very nice. Very nice. I like that chair. Okay, so we have a bunch of blues and yellows and pinks with this chair. Yep, every version has either blue, yellow, or or pink in it, except for the white and black. Eh, I'm not that big of a fan of that chair, but it's each their own. And this chair is kind of cute. It gives me more of an outdoor chair vibe, but I feel like this would be something you put on your front or your back porch. And the black is nice. Kind of looks like a tennis racket. Honestly, just saying. And let's go through the patterns on the couches. So yeah, a lot of people are really hyped for this couch because it has a bunch of pillows on it. But for me, like, I just don't like pillows on couches, guys. It's just my personal preference. So, but this 
where all the pillows are matching is nice. Like, I just don't like mix mismatched pillows in general. And the last sitting area. Oh, we're not in a paranormal anymore, guys. Show all. There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, but that means we have almost two rows left, a little less. Okay, so here are the the prints on this couch. So far, I find this couch very ugly. <laughs> and that's okay. Yeah. Mm, I don't like this couch, guys. <laughs> Sorry about it. I don't mean to be mean or anything. I just, it's just my honest opinion. Okay, so let's put some of these tables down. And like I did with the chairs, I'm going to put them down and then I'll go through them and show off their colors and whatnot. And whatnot and whatnot. Do, do, do. That's a shelf. Go ahead and put that on the wall. Um, I'm going to have to go down here. There we go. And this table. And this table. Okay. So that's all the tables with plus the seance tables. So let's go through this one right quick first so it has a bird some regular patterns ooh that one's pretty uh ooh I like that one okay the table is not as horrible as I thought it was this one's kind of pretty too this one this one's where it's at okay Let's see, with this one, this is like a little, uh, hallway cabinet table thing. Uh, here are all the colors on this. I like the second half better. Like this, that's gorgeous. Okay. Okay, we have a, uh, is this a coffee table? What is this? end table okay but it has all these different metal t and glass tones on it so I really like the white that's really pretty it like sh glows in a way okay so we have the push your luck end table another end table and right, here are all the colors on it Again, the purplish fuchsia color is really pretty in this pack. I'm glad to see it making it into a lot of objects. Okay, let's look at this coffee table. Not my jam. I don't like floral print. Um, but some of the solid textures are alright. I really like the gray right there. The like gray is really pretty. Okay, we have a desk. So here are all the colors on the desk. I find this actually be like a really pretty desk. Okay, in the right swatches. Like this white de desk, this is gorgeous. I could use that in a nice house. I could also use it in a regular house, depending on the style of the house. Okay, let's look at this cabinet or whatever. Is it a bookshelf or a cabinet? It's a bookshelf, isn't it? Oh, oh, sideboard and hutch. Okay, so there's the cabinet. That's what hutches me. I call hutches cabinets, even though, like, I call regular cabinets cabinets too. But, uh, this is a cabinet to me. <laughs> okay. Well, I really am digging the white tones. Okay, so here's the seance table. Um, and then it comes with... So, these two are the same. So, let's look at the colors on this table since I bothered to pull both out. So, here are all the colors it comes with. Honestly, I don't like any of those. <laughs> like, not to be mean. 
I just find them all ugly. <laughs> like, I wish that you could just put the ball on any table and it work. Um, but that's just my opinion. And we have the ball. It comes in this color, which doesn't really match any of the tables either. So, but the purple is really pretty. And I've already been through the swatches on the chair. So, it's time to move on to the plants, I suppose. That's what it looks like is next. So we have this one. This one hangs, which I find really pretty. Um, got this one. We got the cow plant. And ooh, this fern is really nice. It pokes through. Uh, annoying. I love, I love the the fern indoor tree plants. I always love when we get more. But they stick through the corner and you always want to put them in the corner but they're gonna stick through if you put them in the corner or even too close to the wall like I could rotate it and put it like this and that's as close as you're gonna get without alt placing it you're gonna have to like alt place it okay well since I'm already on this one might as well go through the swatches real quick it's just the pot changing at the bottom. Um, let's get a close up on the hanging plant. It looks like it's connected with a chain, which I like, and it's a whole held a metal pot. So I enjoy that quite thoroughly. I think this color was really nice. Um, and then. The cow plant. I, I love this cow plant. <laughs> like, this pot, cow plant is adorable. Alright, let's uh, put it in black. And again, this is the plant I was pointing out earlier that uh, faces away from the wall. So I thought that was really handy. And here is this plant. You can't really see it because it's. It, with it being right there so I'm just gonna move it and this is what it looks like the bottom of it changes okay and then that was all the plants so let's go on to wall decorations let's move this plant over here and put this and this oh there's multiple paintings of him wait a minute I did not know this wait portrait uh okay so there's multiple paintings I didn't know that so I guess he can come out of like any of them. And I'm just kind of guessing, so don't quote me on this. Alright, let's look at the coloration swatches on them. I'm assuming they're all the same. So I'm just going to show you on this one painting. Um, I like the black one. Ooh, that one's pretty too. It's like rustic gold. I don't really like bright gold. But rustic gold is pretty. So yeah, I think I like this one the best, the rusty gold. And then we have this one right here as well. So it only has three swatches. So the black is with the black and white pictures is a very nice touch. Okay. And last for stuff going on the wall, except for the I guess I should go ahead and do the wall light. Yeah. So I really got this wall light. I've been looking forward to it. Since the trailer, um, let's look at all the colors. Ooh, the red is really pretty. Ooh, the red with the white, whitish frame. Mm-hmm. I like that light. That's being used in my Legacy Challenge next season. 
Like for sure. I, I'm gonna just go ahead and put that light there now. Uh, let's look at the curtains real quick. I'm assuming they have the same swatches, so they go together. Everyone was saying that they are looking forward to beaded doors. Turns out it's beaded curtains, which is cool too. So I'm looking forward to this. Let's uh go through the swatch on the left side. Um, so far it all has four, okay, there's not four or five, two. Okay. I like this a lot. I like this one a lot with the royal fuchsia red and the, the bright, bright red at the top. I think that's really pretty. With the blue accents and the beads, yes. Honestly, just yes. <laughs> okay, and... Now for these objects, what is this? Statue of Horus. Okay. Cool. I don't know exactly what it's meant to be, but it's some kind of bird statue. Let's uh, go through the colors on it. Good. Green, teal, blue, brown, red, gold, white, black and gold, which makes it look kind of evil. Can you look at that? It won't let me zoom in any closer, but it looks evil, right? So I just need, and it's a solid black. And we have the actual laser ravaged crystal ball, which I went through the colors on that earlier. The hand to stop him from coming every night. Uh, has some weird colors. I don't really like any of the colors, but it's fine. A book of silhouettes. Interesting. A nice little decor piece. Only has three swatches, though. And let's go ahead and look at this huge fireplace. Hello. Um, let's move down here. I really love the wooden aspect of the fireplace. I think it looks really nice in the wood tones. Some of these colors aren't really like, but the wood tones I really like. And the black and whites and grays I really like. But, and I like this one though. This one's really pretty. With the gray brick in the background. Hey, okay, all that's left is these, oh wait, hold on, there's one more wall hanging thing. What is this? Good Mojo McCrim. Crim? McCrim? Found an electric flea market. This McCrim while hanging has a finite sense of style and overall aura good vibes. Why anyone give it up is a mystery. Uh, I don't know that. Uh, it's alright. It's kind of like, it's kind of like a, a dream catcher. Kind of. It uses the same materials at least, but I like it in the black. That's cute. Alright, now all that's left is rugs. I guess that would be called a rug. Whoa, okay, this one's huge. Compared to this one, okay, let's uh can't really see that color very well on the ground. Here we go. Blue's a little bit better. Blue, brown. There's the red. Uh, you can really see it in the white. Here we go. It's like a flower. And then there's also black and yellow. I think you can see it better in that. I guess I could size it up. And then you can really see it better. doesn't size up very nicely. It's very, uh, pixelated. But it is a so what am I going to say? Um, okay, so the rug has all of these colors. I really like that one. That one's gorgeous. That one's gorgeous. That one's gorgeous. Don't like that. Ooh, yeah, I really like that. Ooh, no, I like that one even better. 
that one's eh. Alright, so I think this one's my favorite. That's pretty, guys. And that is it. Um, they actually had a good amount of stuff in here for a stuff pack. Uh, building by wise for uh Prism. I thought they didn't have that much stuff. But it all also had a lot of patterns. So I know that took work. But for a stuff pack, I feel like they could use more wall colors, maybe one extra flooring. But other than that, I think it came with a lot of good stuff. Right quick, I just want to test something that I mentioned in the first video. I wanted to see if the seance table would work on just a normal lot. So we supposed to want to sense the spiritual boyality, would sense anything uh, when we're on a regular lot. Let's see. Um, if you haven't seen this interaction, this is what it looks like and you see like random Sims faces in the little globe. I love how his wife is over here working on parenting skills and we're just like holding a, a seance. Jacqueline's got the medium skill. Don't detect anything out of the ordinary. So does that mean... Okay, how much is... Okay, so his, his energy went down a good bit um, from that. Oh, can you not do it anymore? Commune with the depart. We'll do it. Do that on non -hailant. Okay. Stop talking to your wife. Do a seance. Or whatever it is you want to call it. Okay, let's talk for I love how they're all coming to sing around. Okay, it's just like it's a family event. Like, you know, it's all cool. Uh, now that I'm dead, I can finally catch up on those shows I've been meaning to watch. Who am I kidding? Maybe I'll just leave them in the queue forever. Okay. So, I guess it still can work. You can get a medium skill, which means you can get Bone Hilda on regular lot. Because Bone Hilda is... Um, you have to have a level 3 medium skill to make that work. So that's why I want to see because I really want Bone Hilda. <laughs> like honestly, if I'm just being fair and honest, I really want Bone Hilda. But anyway guys, I think that's going to be the end of this episode. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and do all that awesome stuff because you guys are awesome people. I'll see you next time. Alright, bye!